lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. I said, Doctor, got a belly ache. I said, Doctor, I got a belly ache. I said, Doctor, I got a belly ache. I said, Doctor. I got a belly ache, I said. All right, so right, let's learn coconut by Harry Nielsen. Is that how to say it? Nielsen? 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 I don't know. Uh, we're gonna learn coconut. This is a one chord song. Technically, we could say two chords, but really we're talking a chord with a bass note in it, which is also known as an inversion. And we're gonna learn that today. Really, it's a C chord. A C7 chord. So, um, so basically, it's a basic C chord, which you know. But you know this because of the nine essential chords video that I teach, and then the nine essential chords, the chords that, if you know these chords, you can play millions of songs. Hopefully, you've down, downloaded that from my website. Uh, it's in the free ebook that you can get in the upper right hand corner. You put your little name in there and you'll get it. Um, so it's a C major. And then the C7, basically, what we're doing is taking our pinky and putting it on the third fret of the second string. So that's what that looks like. Here's a C chord. There's a C7 chord. And really that's the, the chord that we're gonna be using. Now, um, this third finger is gonna be bumping to the third fret of the E string. And that's also known as the G note. So it's gonna be C note, G note, C note, G note. So the two chords are C7. And then C7 with a G in the bass. Which is known as a C7 slash G. Which is also known as an inversion. So there's a C7. There's a C7 slash G. I put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. I put the lime in the coconut. So see how my third finger's just going back and forth? And that's that doom, 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 doom. That's that whole bit, right? And then the riff is. Now I'm going to simplify this for you. Okay, so really, let's just grab the C7. By the way, your left hand is probably, your fingertips are gonna hurt a little bit doing this because you're gonna have to work on the finger picking part of this. So it's gonna hurt, that's okay. Guess what? Every guitar player from the beginning of time has had hurt fingertips and their arms and hands get sore. That's what we do. We can sit around with the remote control and watch TV all day and not hurt our fingertips, but what's the fun is that? You know, what, what, there's no fun in that. It's fun if you rock. That's when it's fun. All right, so we got our C chord. There's our C7. And so the riff is going to go like this. You're going to do, first off, you should know some basics about finger picking. If you don't, you need to watch my finger picking videos here on YouTube or go to the first 30 videos that I teach all my students for free. That's the link below. You can do that. And I've got a more detailed version of how to finger pick. But uh, in short, I'm going to tell you, tell you really quick, thumb should take care of strings 654. And fingers one, two, three should take care of strings three, two, one. If you need more information about it, watch those videos. Okay, so assuming you've watched those and you come back and you know how to finger pick now, uh, basically um, that rule that I just told you is true, except you're gonna take these fingers right here, uh, one, two, three, you're gonna bump them up one string and you're gonna act like you're doing the same pattern. So 99% of the time you won't do that, but every now and then you'll have to bring that hand up. So. The pattern goes like this. So holding your, holding, assuming you have your C7 over here, you're gonna go pinch, uh, this is strings five and two, so you get, it's a pinch pick. So you're gonna do that with the thumb and the third finger. This is P-I-M-A if you're a finger picker, so P and A. So you're gonna pick, and then you're gonna go second, first, and then thumb again. So like this. So take your time when you're doing that. Really, if you get it one time, you'll be able to do it a million more times, but you gotta be able to do it once first. So again, pinch pick,
So really, so really, uh, we could say that our melody is doing this. So really, you're going down each time. Look, watch. Two, three, four, five, two, three. Two, three, four, five, two, three. Two, three, four, five, two, three. And it just so happens that the first note is a pinch pick. So you're going to hit the thumb and this guy at the same time. Make sense? Now, you want to make sure that you do this without the pinch pick first. So just the... Then you want to add the pinch pick. Then when you have that down, step three is to alternate between the C bass note and the G bass note. So the first one's going to go. And then here you're going to go. doing there so that's going to take a little a little getting used to but here's the deal now hold up don't get overwhelmed by this this is not a terribly hard song um, however if you try to digest too much as a guitar player at one point you'll get frustrated you'll move on to another song and you'll never learn coconut by harry nelson and you won't be, get to play it by the campfire and have uh, millions of people or millions what, I, what kind of campfire is this uh, you won't be able to have dozens of people singing along with you patting you on the back saying you're amazing uh would you come play my party i want to pay you thousands of dollars you're not going to have that if you quit and don't learn how to do this okay so don't quit and do this do it. Do it as I've said here, step by step. I promise you, you're going to have a blast. You're going to be the life of the party. They're going to put you up on their shoulders and da, 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 da. they're going to do all that and your life is going to be grand from here on out. So make sure you learn this little arpeggio thing. It's going to be amazing, okay? Um, hey, I, I'm here to help you. So please, if you have any comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, hit thumbs up and hit subscribe because I have tons of free stuff. I think maybe nearly 800 videos here on YouTube. I've been doing this for a while. And by all means, if you're learning how to play guitar, I've got the medicine for what ails you. Okay, first off, there is a link below that will get you into the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students for free. That's right, I said for free. So uh, I wanted to create something that all students uh, around the world, I have uh, literally hundreds of thousands of, of folks, uh, millions of folks that have watched my videos, 41 million now, and hundreds of thousands of subscribers, so folks that want to see my stuff all the time. I wanted to create something for them that they could learn how to play guitar, uh, learn the basics and the roots and all that stuff. So my first 30 lessons that I teach all students um, here in my studio here in Nashville that would normally cost you a thousand over a thousand bucks if you came to see me. Uh, on that website too, if you can sign up for my free ebook, that'll I'll send that to you. And when you do that, it um, I give these books away. These are my Amazon books. Uh, songwriting book is coming out soon with my beautiful uh, number one uh, songwriting wife. Um, written several hit songs and that's coming out soon and so I give all these books away as well so make sure you go there and when you sign up for that ebook you'll be on the email list and we give these away several times a year uh, as well as I give away guitars and everything else in my live webinars so stick around I got a lot of free stuff for you I'm here to help you leave comments here leave them on Twitter um, Facebook right all those places I like to hang out there I'm hip with the kids uh, seriously, uh, hit me up there. I interact with folks a lot there. Let me know how I can help. That's what I'm here for. Please, spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to animals. Let's not think like we're the only species here. Let's clean up this world. Let's be kind to animals. Let's be kind to one another, humans even. I know, it's a crazy thought. We can change the world. We can reverse a lot of the poo-poo out there uh, by, by just being kind. So let's do that. Let me know how I can help you. Um, don't trust the man. See ya. Put the 
lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Put the lime in the coconut, drink it all up.